Oh my goodness. Who is on the hot seat astrology wise this January? Well, quite frankly, it's me. Just watch me. But let me turn it over to you because um, I want you to have a better month than what I'm just about to have. So what am I talking about? Well, Chinese astrology, okay? Each month has a different energy that leads and it interacts with your birth chart differently. So best thing to do is to know what your Chinese astrology chart is. If you don't know, Google it or go to my website, chiprosam.com and use the calculator to work out your birth chart. You're looking for animals in your birth date. They represent moments in time, okay? So once you've got that, come back and keep listening. So first of all, do you have a goat in your birth chart? I do. Um, this is tricky because January is a direct clash to you. Clash just means change. And normally I'm like, oh, it doesn't really matter. You're just going to experience some change. The problem with this January, if you've been following my other videos, is that this January is a changeover between 2022 and 2023. So there's a lot, a lot of crap circling around. So goats are going to feel that. That could be a goat in your year, month, day or hour. And it will respond respond differently but the fact is you might feel a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit like oh, I don't quite know where to put my focus just chill okay you gotta let this month go now the next one up is do you have a horse in your birth chart Shit, I do my god I'm two for two here if you have a horse in the birth chart um sucks to be me is what I'm gonna say because basically this is a um, a harm situation. Now, don't be fooled by the word. This is a Chinese metaphysics word. It doesn't mean someone's going to harm you. It just means the higher probability of experiencing a type of a harm can be very minimal. Let me put this into real time for you. Because January is always a tricky month for me with my birth chart, I go away skiing and I take a lot of time away and I do things I love. So knowing that I have this potential harm in my chart this month, I will avoid double black runs. I will avoid doing that last run at the end of the day when you know you're tired and you shouldn't do because I'm likely to sprain my ankle or have a little mishap, okay? So that's the perspective I want you to take on this. You don't panic, you don't live in fear, it's awareness. If I can make it through two for two, you can make it through for sure. Now, another one is do you have a dog in your birth chart, okay? Um, this one's tricky because the January ox, because it's ox month, um, the, the ox and the dog, they kind of get into a bit of a fight. It's a bit of a bullying thing. So if you have a dog in your birth chart, you're likely to experience um, a feeling of like, oh, crap, it's just not going my way. I'm backed into a corner. Everyone's getting what they want from me and I'm not getting what I want. Or I don't have any choices. Decision, you know, choices are being take, taken away from me. It really is a, what we call a bullying formation. Again, it's short-lived. So how you approach this is you know that it's there, okay? You don't expect to win everything. You know it's there. And when a situation presents and it's not going your way, you just think, oh, I'm just going to breathe. It's okay. Um, it's only a moment in time. I will get past. Let me give that person what they want. And I'm not going to play the victim. Don't play the victim. Okay, that's the way through January. Now, another animal, do you have a dragon in your chart? And this is where I go, shit, I'm three for three. <laughs> this is not a great month for me. Um, for the love of God, uh, I don't even know how to explain this one. This is something called a destruction. And again, I want to teach you through these videos each month, how to use this information. Because a lot of people see the word destruction and they go, oh my God, I'm going to be destroyed. No, 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 you're not, no, you're not. Destructions come into play. And when the energy comes forward, it's, you've got to, you, you decide to use the energy. Okay. You've got to use the energy. You can't go against it and you can't deny it and say, I'm just not looking. Cause if I don't look, it's not there. Yes, it is. So when a destruction comes in, it means you've probably got to break something down and redo it. You've got to break something apart. Could be a process, could be a habit, could be any number of things, depending on what's going on in your life. So again, I'm going to give you a real, real life example, because I don't know your birth chart, I only know mine. So I have this, okay, I also have a harm, and I have a clash, and I'm like, oh, bloody hell. Um, what this will mean for me is that while I'm away, while I'm taking some time out in preparation for all the Chinese New Year work that I do, I will probably change one of my processes. I will probably look at my systems, could be my funnels on my website, could be the templates I use in something, and I'm going to probably break them apart and redo them. This is okay, right? 
we need to change things. We need to update things. So again, if you have a dragon in your birth chart and you're thinking, good God, Sam said I'm going to be destroyed. No, I did not. I said, you're probably going to make some changes in your life and realize that something's actually not working and you've got to break it apart and redo it. See, it's quite simple. Last one is if you have a rat in your birth chart. I so wish I did, but I don't. If you have a rat in your birth chart, the ox is actually going to help you. So you've rats last year took a really hard hit um, in Jan in 2022, which is still in play right now. So you're actually going to get a friend come forward or friends come forward. and They're going to help you through it towards what is going to be a much better 2023 for you. OK, so hang in there, rats. If you feel like at every turn you were hit, stopped and it just wasn't working. I know but it's going to change. So there you go. That's the astrology for January. And um, yeah, you can do this. Okay. I've got absolute faith that you're going to make it through just fine.